when you get your Q5 transverter and you're hooking it up to your flex radio, there is a small alignment that needs to happen. And it's very simple, very critical, and you'll be glad you did it once you do it. Let's have a look. On the bottom of your transverter, you'll see a, let's see if it focuses, something called TXIF, and there's another one back here called RXIF, but TXIF is the most critical one we want to look for. And what we're going to do is use that to adjust the amount of gain uh, in the transverter so that when we run full power, we're going to do 100% tune power, we get full deflection on the bar graft. It's pretty simple to do. Uh, let me set it up so you can see it. The hardest part of the entire exercise is getting your screwdriver in the bottom of this and trying to find the, uh, the pot and then get the blade to match. That may take you a few minutes. And I recommend you look in and see what the angle is. And then you can get close and then you can feel your way around. And you, you'll feel it once you get it. So once you have your screwdriver figured out, uh, turn the control all the way clockwise, gently, and you'll feel it stop. Put your tune power here at 100% and put the radio in tune. And you'll see we have some RF power here. And all we have to do is turn this counterclockwise until we get full deflection right there. And that's now whatever power it takes out of here to drive this to this full power. And you're done. There's another control for your receiver IF, and all you want to do is turn the volume up and turn this on and off until the volume levels sound the same. You should not see a jump in audio level when you turn it on. It means that the gain's too high, uh, and it's, it's that simple. So if you listen closely, you'll hear the audio level does not change off let's turn it back on on and you can see this is my uhf transverter that is actually working correctly and we're hearing some outside signals and that's how you and that's how you align your q5 transverter pretty straightforward